Making a decision for God after making a choice about God is the proper order for a beautiful life. First, we stopped playing God, the director. Then we develop a deeper faith and a power beyond our understanding by keeping an open mind and an open heart. Being vulnerable, a true leap of faith that we will be protected and provided with more than our wildest dreams. Our wants become what we already have. Prayer and meditation keep us connected to our higher power. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. November 16th, a daily reprieve. What we really have is a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 85. Maintaining my spiritual condition is like working out every day, planning for the marathon, swimming laps, jogging. It's staying in good shape spiritually, and that requires prayer and meditation. The single most important way for me to improve my conscious contact with a higher power is to pray and meditate. I am as powerless over alcohol as I am to turn back the waves of the sea. No human force had the power to overcome my alcoholism. Now I am able to breathe the air of joy, happiness, and wisdom. I have the power to love and react to events around me with the eyes of a faith in things that are not readily apparent. My daily reprieve means that, no matter how difficult or painful things appear today, I can draw on the power of the program to stay liberated from my cunning, baffling, and powerful illness. Keeping in fit spiritual condition is the easier, softer way. Easier than trying to white-knuckle our way through life with willpower and our ego. It is easy to let up on the spiritual program of action and rest on our laurels. We are headed for trouble if we do, for alcohol is a subtle foe. We are not cured of alcoholism. Every day is a day we must carry the vision of God's will into all of our activities. How can I best serve thee? Thy will, not mine, be done. These are the thoughts which must go with us constantly. We can exercise our willpower along this line all we wish. It is the proper use of the will. Praying and meditating to our higher power for understanding of what the next right thing is keeps our wills aligned with our divine influence. I can't, he can, I will let him, is what we said when we surrendered and admitted we were powerless. Step 11 is the continuation of that process that we use to keep what we have. We help others the way others helped us in the beginning. Finding a higher power is not why we came into the program or what we thought we would get, but we are happily surprised to have it. It is the best thing we could have ever asked for, and it was there the whole time, hidden only by our self-absorption and fear-based living. At first, it is foreign to us to hit our knees and pray for assistance, but after trying it for a while and seeing the results in ourselves, we need it as much as we need food and water to be happy and healthy. Sometimes, if we get busy with other things and forget to meditate and pray, we notice the crustiness seeps back into our thinking. Having a spiritual routine helps to grow our faith, and we prioritize that time in the morning and at bedtime. We can use it any time of the day. There are no restrictions. Remembering He is with us always keeps us grounded in the present. November 16th, a daily reprieve. What we really have is a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 85. Maintaining my spiritual condition is like working out every day, planning for the marathon, swimming laps, jogging. It's staying in good shape spiritually, and that requires prayer and meditation. 
The single most important way for me to improve my conscious contact with a higher power is to pray and meditate. I am as powerless over alcohol as I am to turn back the waves of the sea. No human force had the power to overcome my alcoholism. Now I am able to breathe the air of joy, happiness, and wisdom. I have the power to love and react to events around me with the eyes of a faith in things that are not readily apparent. My daily reprieve means that, no matter how difficult or painful things appear today, I can draw on the power of the program to stay liberated from my cunning, baffling, and powerful illness. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.